Alright. Let's let them get it. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 5. Listen to the book. And there are differences of administrations. That's a different way things begin to operate, how it begin to work. Isn't that right? How Amen. every preacher don't have the same amount of rhythm, how they might allow something to begin, how they might begin to um, dictate rule inside of the church. And there are different operations of it. Amen. Listen. And there are differences of, ministri- of administrations, but the same Lord. You see that's the same Lord. Come on. And there are diversities of operations. And there, are diverse, there are many different operations. Listen. But it is the same God. It's the same God. You see what it all go back to relate to? Then he's going to begin to bring us in a minute to something to get you where you can understand it. Because a lot of people see like every preacher ought to have the same information, the same Now They don't. It's different gifts. That's right. Isn't that right? It's different gifts. That's just like a pastor. You can't expect the advantage to know what a pastor knows. You can't expect the prophet to know what a pastor knows. That's right. You know, everybody has a different operation. Everybody has a different gift. But when you put them together, they work to perfect. Amen. Then you'll find an apostle, he can operate in every one of these gifts. That's right. Isn't that right? But there'll be need for these gifts to come and they can be edifying to him. That's right. Isn't that right? Paul, when he went and he was going to go to a city, in Agabus, a prophet, he was among them. He took Paul's girdle, which he built and took it and he bound his own hands and feet and said, Thus saith the Holy Ghost to the man that owned this girdle. Said, if he go to Jerusalem, said, He's going to be bound and beat. When the brother heard, they began to start crying. Paul asked him, what mean you to weep and break mine heart? He said, I'm not only ready to be beat. He said, I'm ready to die at Jerusalem. When the brother heard, they said, the will of the Lord be done. When Paul went to Jerusalem, he was beat. Now, God could have either revealed to him, but he had a prophet there. Let the prophet work. That's right. Amen. Oh, I wish they missed that one too, didn't they? And then, well, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, about the, as they begin at verse 20, I think they begin to talk about how they were first called Christian at Antioch. Later on, you'll find out how there was a dirt, which was a scarcity that was going to come. And the prophet Agabus arose again and prophesied concerning the dirt. And they sent relief to all the brethren that was in Judea. So these men had gifts. The prophets with the apostles with that, they didn't know it. So God worked how he will through his gifts. That's right. Isn't that right? Amen. I wish I had a praying church. Amen. Let me tell you something else a lot of folk, man. An elder going to be a pastor. I don't know how people come up, you got ruling elder, presiding elder. That's all church of Christ. Why well, come out here all that old kind of mess? You had elders that didn't do nothing. You don't have no elder in that call. Titus told us, Paul told Titus to put him in every city. When not only that, in Acts of the Apostle chapter 14, verse, right quick, Acts of the Apostle chapter 14 by verse 23. Y'all want to see what they did with, every, with the elders? I tell the folks, this is going to be, uh-oh. I'm going to step in this one. I'm going to tell folks something now. If you stick with the Bible, how the Bible read, this only thing you're going to be able to put for a pastor in the church. Now, let's, listen, let's, let's see what the book says right here. Now, this is, uh, this is Acts of the Apostle, chapter 14, verse 23. Listen to the book now. And when they had ordained them elders. Well, they did it. In every church. You got a church. You're supposed to have an elder in it. That's right. That tight, you got a church. Now, you ain't got no elder in it. Because he just said they didn't see what Titus said. He, what Titus said he told him in Titus 1 and 4. That be tight. People be sitting around talking about you got to have an apostle in every church. That's not what he said right here. Did he say right here that ordain every one of them apostles in every church? I don't know why folks come over there hypocrite and lie. They ain't never say you had to have no apostle in no every church. Right. When you got the letter, they got, you got an apostle. They set it up. The church had built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Amen. Isn't that right? In the 15th chapter of the book of Acts, when they begin to dispute, should the Gentiles be circumcised? Who do they call together? The apostles and elders. They ain't call no minister, no evangelist. They ain't call no prophet to ask them about it. They sat down and considered that matter. That, I know they're going to say, he said that called him. I said it called the book said. That's right. Amen. That's what they said in there and that's what they used. Now, Acts the apostle 14, 23 again, what they do? And when they had ordained them elders in every church. Listen what they did. And had prayed with fasting. When they prayed with fasting, why God didn't tell them, you can put evangelist there, you ain't got no elder. Use a minister. Get one of the brothers and put them there and let them run the church. They prayed with fasting. And listen what they, who they commended them to. They commended them to the Lord. And that word command means to entrust or recommend. That's right. On whom what? They believed. Give them the same one they gave them this, but they're apostleship. That's right. That tight, but it took the line. And y'all see where they put them at? In every church. Listen to what Paul told them. This is Titus 1 and 5. I told them 4 5 would be good. Amen. Listen to the book. Listen to the book. For this cause left I thee in Crete. That thou should have set in order the things that are wanting. Now you hear this. Now this is Paul talking now. This is what Paul said. And ordain elders in well? every city. So you got a city, you got an elder there, you better put a church down. Amen. 
that tight. That's right. That's why a whole lot of things we had to go back and got to look at and got to restructure because it got to be with the book. And I said, now we, I'm talking about everybody. Every preacher got to go back and restructure. Folk been setting deacons up, running churches. Can't do that. Because you got in the city, he told him put an elder in there, didn't he? Got him in there with a pastor set up every church with every elder. You think I'd be all right if I set evangelists up to run it? I, would I be fine? Then I'm going to say we apostolic. That's why God wanted knowledge. Because apostolic do what they want to do. Though they follow the apostle doctrine, going to do what the apostle did. Every church they had, they put an elder in it. Amen. Someone said, what they do? They have an elder. They didn't call it no church then. Amen. Amen. <laughs> right. right. They ain't setting nothing in there to substitute it, did they? Amen. A whole lot of stuff, man. We got to come back to it. Folks got to make sure they, we got to mind the book. That's why a lot of things are coming out that not being prospered today for the church. Back with that first Corinthians 12 chapter. Y'all ain't, I tried to tell you, I had something else, but what he had is always better. Isn't that right? That's a lot of things, like I'm saying, for years we've been doing, but when we come back and look at the book, we find it, hey, we, and this is the part I got, the problem I got. People say, he always running people down here, like he knew everything. I never testified I knew everything. Amen. I guarantee if you show it to me rightly divided, and if I see it, God will have a bell record, I'll walk into it. I can't walk in something I don't see and I don't know. Now, I'll be telling you a lie. Just say it and I'll do it. It's not going to happen. That's true. I got to see it and I got to understand it. Then I know how to bring it and present it to the people. Amen. I can't present none of y'all on see myself. Well, that's how I go. Y'all even don't see it. I'm not going to be convincing when I come to say it. Amen. I got to be convinced in order to convince you with it. I got a product that's a good product, but I ain't sure because I ain't never used it. Now, how much confidence I'm going to use on it? When I know I use it, I can kind of debate with you a little bit about it and go back and forth. And I can stand on because I've seen that product work before. Amen. That's right. I wish I had a praying church. <laughs> Listen to the book. Why left you about uh, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 12? We have verse 6. Verse 6. Listen to the book. And there are diversities of operations. There are different operations. But it's the same God. It's the same God. Come which, on. Which worketh all in all. A man be a bad shape. A, a prophet going to go fight an evangelist. Right. A pastor going to fight an apostle. He's going to be in bad shape because it's the same God. It might be a different way God might use him, but, but God ain't going to use none of us outside the word. Right. Now, a lot of people try to take this to take this to say, well, see, I got different administration. So in my ministry, I let the women do devotion. I let the women get up and teach Sunday school because Paul said different administration. That's error administration. That's right. Because the same God ain't going to allow us to do because we're not speaking the same thing. That's right. Amen. That's right. We're not walking by the same rules. Hold what you got. Let's see what Paul told. See that uh, Philippians chapter 3. I'm sure it probably down some. Give me verse 11 be fine. Let's see what Paul said. Not only did he tell us in 1 Corinthians, in the first chapter, in the 10th verse, about we speaking the same thing. But let me see what else he told him. This is uh, what I said, Philippians 3, probably about verse 11. We'll read down for now. I know we'll hit it in a minute. Listen to the book. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, uh -huh. not as though I had already attained. But what did he do? Either were already perfect. He said not though he had already attained, neither was he already perfect. Listen to what Paul said he did. But I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended. You see that? He wanted to apprehend where the same thing that would be comprehend. The same thing that he was captured of, he wanted to be able to understand it himself. Listen. Of Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. brethren, uh -huh. I count not myself to have apprehended, uh -huh. but this one thing I do. What do you do, Paul? Forgetting those things which are behind. And doing what? Reaching forth unto those things which are before. What did he do? I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. That's what a lot of Christ people Jesus. don't do. That's what Paul said. He hadn't apprehended, but he said, I'm pressing toward it. A lot of these people right. hadn't worked. You find his letter here when he got the second second Timothy fourth chapter. When you begin to read Second Timothy chapter four, they told him to preach the word. Later on, he went and gone out. He said, "I finished my course." That's right. So I fought a good fight. Isn't that right? Later on, he came back with a different conversation. There's a difference at some point in your life when you're saying what he said here. Paul grew. Second right. Peter three and eighteen said, "But growing great, these hypocrites ain't got nothing they gonna get by with." That's right. That's why he said, "I press toward. I see what I'm working for." Amen. He said, I press toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Listen to the book. Let us therefore do what? As many as be perfect. Be what? Thus minded. Had the same mind. Mm -hmm. Listen to the book. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded. You, then what God going to do? God shall reveal even this unto you. How he going to do it? By the preaching. Amen. How God going to reveal it? He said, if you be otherwise, in an otherwise minded, God going to reveal it to you. How he going to do it? It's got to be by the gospel.